Fuck it. Bravo 6. Going dark. I fucked up a lot, and I've also done a lot of right. I'm making this video because I'm kind of changing. I'm going to live a shitty job working Monday to Friday. I'm still going to be posting YouTube videos, so we're going to be streaming, but I'm going to hate my life. I done got it out the mud. That's that shit that made. That's that shit that made. Yeah, and the merch, it's up for sale. You can go ahead and grab that. First link in the description, monkeygang.com. I'd be surprised if we gave him five sales. Might start to switch things up video-wise, but I don't really know. I fumbled the bag once. Here's take two. I'm just here to hold your hand when you die. And show you around imaginary places. Mindset is everything. You lose your mind, you lose the game. That's why I stopped playing Call of Duty as much. For a little while, I could average 30 to 50 viewers playing Cold War Zombies, but the thing is, the game fucking blows. Dog, I see that. The game blows, and I enjoy playing Rust, Valorant, all these other games that nobody wants to watch me play, and just, I'm, that's just what I like right now. I will never force myself to continuously play the same game if I don't enjoy it. The reason why I got into playing video games, the reason why I got into Twitch, YouTube, TikTok, all that kind of stuff is because I enjoyed it. I'm not going to make my job the job that I really enjoy, the job that I want because I enjoy the job and turn it into something that I fucking hate. It's not happening. And viewership just skyrockets down, but I'm at least enjoying life. Obviously, me not playing zombies, and that's where I grew my entire, you know, John John from. Um, your My viewers just plummet, right? Go down. And I get the viewers that, you know, ask if I'm okay, which I, I appreciate. I appreciate you asking if I'm okay. But the majority of the reason why they're asking if I'm okay and if I'm good is because my viewers are going down. A number on a screen and the amount of people behind me should have no correlation to my mental and overall well-being. I don't give a fuck. I would never force myself to play a video game to get more numbers because if that was the case, I would be on Warzone or I'd be on Fortnite or be on those games. You know what I'm saying? And you don't get successful on Twitch by not doing anything you have to work your ass off i think what the number is 0.01 percent or something like that uh, that make it a full-time job or are partnered on the platform i mean hell if i know funny part was when i back did have viewers i used to get so many hosts so many new people coming in um streamer wise people you know in the in the scene nobody's hitting me up in the dms nobody's you know trying to host me any of that kind of stuff because i don't have numbers behind me now mainly because people want to you know kind of feed off that people host me maybe i get them to host maybe i host them back that kind of stuff, which I get it, but like, I mean, you gotta fucking think. But it's crazy because I already know I'm gonna make it in the industry and shit's gonna get real busy. I'm just here to hold your hand when you die and show you around imaginary places. I'm getting this job and I'm making my life harder just because one, I like money, and also two, my work ethic will increase drastically. If you're comfortable, if you got it, you're good. There really is no making out the mud when you're walking around in Nikes and a $60 t shirt. Negativity drives me, and it's actually weird because most people, um, there's a saying, uh, what breaks some builds others and damn that is true crazy shit in the world bro crazy shit live your life mama never raised no bitch i'm just here to hold your hand when you die and show you 